Tyler, man. It's Phil X. Yeah, yeah! Um, yeah, I was screwing around with Ditto. Uh, ditto. Ditto! That's what it's called. TC Electronics Ditto Looper X2. Some cool stuff. Um, uh, jamming on a little uh, police there. Uh, uh, what? What song is that here? Message in a bottle? Yeah. Well, that chord progression. And in the meantime, uh, checking out this strat. Because this is what we do around here. We check out strats. All right. So, uh, yeah, so in the meantime, this is a 1964 Fender Strat. Candy up red, near mint. Clay dots, spaghetti logo. That makes me hungry. Spaghetti meatballs, woo! <laughs> um, Pre-CBS custom color Strat. Uh, this is, uh, weighs in at just seven and a half pounds. And you know what's really cool about this? I found out today that they got it to look really metallic by putting like, first they put primer, and then they put silver paint, and then they put red, Candy apple red on top of that, it makes it sound real, it makes it look like metallic, which is really awesome. Um, you know, and then it's got the, the aged, obviously naturally aged mint green pit guard. Um, let's see what we got going on here. We're in uh, the Tone Master, right? Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> And then you also got this kind of crazy thing where this is the three-way switch, so sometimes you have to fish around for positions two and four. We've discussed that before. That's the middle pickup. Yeah, so. No, I'm, I'm, it's, this sounds great with the Tone Master without having to turn down to get it to clean up a little bit. So obviously we're talking about low output pickups. Obviously they're, you can't see my, my view, but my view is that they're pretty far from the strings, but you get that um, quintessential Strat sound, right? And then this is the treble pickup. <laughs> uh, you know, I haven't done this one in a while, so let's do it. So I'm like, uh, Stevie Wonder, what? Looking back on when I was a little nappy headed boy. I built my only worry. I was a Christmas bubble near my toy. Doing a little thing there. That sounds like a really killer, like. And then uh, let's see if we can find that middle thing. <laughs> It's called the magic touch right there.
Okay, so. Ghost notes, man, ghost notes. Mute, mute, mute that bastard. Mute it! Okay, so wait, now we're tr looking for four position. Neck. And this is somewhere in between. And then we got, uh, okay, well, that was the Tone Master, that was this guitar. Um, we can go to a big amp, hear what that sounds like. This is the uh, Friedman Signature Felix. Oh, by the way, this is a picture of me on it, my t-shirt, and you're like wondering why the hell is that guy wearing a picture of him on his t-shirt? But as you can see, it says play, I played Kara's guitar. This, this was a very important, Kara was a, uh, in 2013, I was on tour with Bon Jovi, and not to drop names, like picks or anything like that, but now I need a pick. Um, there was a, um, not to make it all comical or anything, um, Kara is a 26 year old who uh, was a guitar player and a lover of music, and she had a, a guitar built for her. And what, hap what happened was um, she died. She passed away in her sleep one night, which is a horrible, horrible thing. And I was affected by it, and I didn't even know her. I saw my friend post a picture of her on Facebook, and I go, wow, what a happy looking girl with her brand new guitar. And then as I read on, it's like she passed away last week, and I was like, what? And it was just like this thing. And uh, so he, I, I reached out to my buddy Jim Torres, who owns a guitar store called uh, Guitar World in Mississauga, and I was like, Jim, what the, what? And he's like, yeah. But we're keeping her guitar at the store so people can play it in her memory kind of thing. So he said, hey, would you, when you're in Toronto, would you mind coming by and playing her guitar? And then we can take a picture and that kind of thing. And I said, well, I'll do one better. Let's, let me grab the guitar and I'll play it on stage with Bon Jovi and we'll do One to Dead or Alive with it. And I ended up doing that. And, you know, it was cool because I brought it to Kumi, my tech number one tech in the entire world. He set it up and I just played it on stage. Never know, didn't know if it was gonna be good or bad. I just knew that it's something that I had to do. So anyway, since then, her father, Larry Shred, he's getting as many people to play the guitar as possible. And he sent me the shirt because he's giving it to people, as, a, as a, again, as a memoriam. So I apologize for going into a guitar demo with a story like that, but, it happens. All right. Um, I'm in the Freedman. I'm going to rock out. <laughs> so, um, very strat sounding. Ha! Ah, for a strat, right? <laughs> I said that once before, and somebody said, Did he just say very strat sounding for a strat? <laughs> Put a little sauce on it. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Temperature in here, it's getting hot. All right, man. 1964 Fender Stratocaster, thank you very much. Have a kick ass day, baby. <laughs> that was awesome.